Good morning, folks. This is the Sakurajima volcano in Japan. Some pretty significant eruptions yesterday actually coated localities with ash. They spent much of Monday cleaning up, actually. Top focus is the Soho Lasco C3, where one of the biggest sundiving comets of 2013 has arrived, and this will be great to watch progress throughout the day. Much more difficult to notice is up at the top of the frame, we have a star out of phase. Not moving with the rest of the background stars would seem to indicate that this is indeed not a star, but something else. Had I not been focused on the Ceres conjunction for days, I likely would not have properly identified this. Let's use motion confirmation on Stellarium. Turning off the atmosphere August 11th and running up to now sees Ceres above the sun heading in perfectly. Also notice Mercury and Regulus in the mix this week as well. Taiwan should be on watch. This latest typhoon is set to swing slightly north and then due west. Not much doing in the Atlantic as Aaron weakened while south of Mexico remains in moderate development. In the central Pacific can't stop popping up little threats that have yet to revisit Hawaii. Tassie Low headed to Antarctica per the evening news. Hate to be a broken record about the southwest Pacific, but it is what it is here. The storms will not deviate from the convergence line that will crest the Middle East by mid-Thursday. Meanwhile, an enormous high-pressure cell driving clockwise in the eastern states still creating convergence at the southeast, still storms in north-central where the energy is headed, and out west, we see a low in Washington and one in California, both bringing rain along their convergence lines today. It's popcorn style in Death Valley. Solar wind is quieting with minor density signatures, waning speed, and no geomagnetic disturbances or energetic flux. Flaring is still popping sea range every few hours, but we are looking for that to change as a comet approaches the surface, the planets start lining up this afternoon, and the sunspots are back in near form. We have morphing spots mixing and unmixing as they grow. Any of the three could pop. Turning in, the leading group needs more backside negative umbral development, while his shadow on the limb appears ready to rock and roll. Got incomers turning in up north as well, and some developing just west of north center disk. The Earth-facing coronal hole has a pitifully small umbral opening. Apart from Sakurajima, there were no seismic events the last 24 hours. The waning coronal hole combines with planetary geometry and incoming space weather for a watch score of 6 today. Got plasma filaments to be concerned with as well. Shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.55am Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.